Today we head to the Midlands in England to explore and investigate this abandoned house hidden deep in the woods. The house has been left for over two decades. This small and remote home has been completely left to be reclaimed by nature, unloved and uncared for for over 20 years. The house has had a number of investigations before by a number of paranormal teams, each catching their own disturbing evidence. Shadow figures lurking in doorways, voices calling out from dark corners of the rooms, and children's laughter have all been caught inside this old family home. Inside we find possessions dating back to the 1920s, personal photographs of weddings and the family's gatherings, all left behind to rot and decay. Little is known of the actual history of the family and their home, leaving people's imaginations to run wild. Stories of them leaving in the middle of the night to rumours of murder happening inside the house. Today we head inside and take a look for ourselves and see what and who may remain. Alright guys, so we are inside the house now. We're going to have a good look around before we start investigating. You can see by the wallpaper how retro the place is. Some of the dates that we've seen in here in the past have been into the 1950s and earlier. Should be a good explore, so we're going to have a good look around now and start our investigation. And with Matt, as always. So where do you want to... Shall we start in these front rooms? Probably best to, innit? There's ladder in the way as well. We'll yeah. have to check that out, won't we? I'm not going up there, mate. Matt. <laughs> I'll go up. I'll bring it hard time But look how retro the wallpaper is. You can see it peeling away there. Neck curtains being eaten away by God knows what. Moths, mice over the years. Look at this, how I know you did last summer. Jacket. Imagine if that guy turns up. <laughs> Today, mate. It's pissing, <laughs> it is, yeah. But you can see the place has been pretty cleared. It is complete vibes in the place. It's so dark, isn't it, without the lights? But we're just going to check what we can find. See the dates. Newspapers everywhere, so this is good. We can get some dates off them. Um, here we go. 1953, that map. Yeah, I was going to say, this is old. Look like how young the Queen is, isn't it? Yeah. She's loving that horse as well, isn't she? Yeah. I can't see a day like that. Rest in peace. Look, more Queen stuff. 1953. Is this this Coronation Photo News? So this is actually from the Coronation as well, Matt. Yeah. How crazy is that? It's a shame that someone's ripped the, the day off the top. Yeah. Unless it's the same paper, it could be, it probably is, isn't it? It is, it's dated as well, mate. These are like yeah, the 50s, mate. Yeah. Look at these old metal chests. Oh, I can't even get in that. <laughs> oh, there you go. Oh, it's empty. Sure. Proper old pirate's chest, that though. Isn't it? And then just some sort of a massive quad <laughs> go over somebody's head. <laughs> Hope no one comes back. Check these portraits though. Look at this woman. I think that's a woman. Look at her. She looks so creepy. I always find that the old ones, they are very creepy. She's got a, a vendetta, it looks like. <laughs> Doesn't she? She looks fuming. Not happy at all. But I wonder what date that would be. That's got to be Victorian. Look how black, black and white. <sighs> Crazy. Look the pictures next to it too. What's this? Is it like a... Um... Old fireplace. Like What's that? Is that something to hold like your music notes? Yeah, it does look like it, doesn't it? Pretty sure it is, and there's a lot of them, there's some knocking about there. Right? Yeah, I did notice them. The music sheets. So there would have been like pianos, stuff like that in here at one point. Fireplace is absolutely immaculate condition as well. Like I was saying, this place is just vibes. It's so dark as well, isn't it? Is that just a mirror? Yeah, that is. Yeah, it's like an old... Anything in it? Oh, no. Oh, yeah, little nuts and bolts. Yeah, what's that? That's a bit of paper. It looked like uh, somebody's cut a diamond out, look. Oh, yeah. Probably hoping to get married one day. <laughs> that was a drink. Do you know how to do scrying, is it? Scrying? The mirrors. No. Is that when they do, like, a pattern or something? I'm not sure what it is. I just heard of it. But we're definitely gonna have to check that attic out before we leave. Maybe do a little investigation up there, what do you reckon? I'm not fancying it. I'll end up through the ceiling. Or I fancy it. I'm gonna do it. 
Be brave with me, Oh, look at this. All bits and bobs in this pantry type. All shelves of books. What books do we have over here? Everything is so dated though, isn't it? The daisy in the field. These are so old. Look, white mold over them. Should be wearing gloves. I'm going to get told off now. Stepping heavenward. The treasure of Scarland. This looks so old. Oh yeah, it's an old library book. What is that? Yeah, look at the oh my. Guess when this was rented out last? 1939, Matt. Yeah, imagine the library bill on this. <laughs> Here's a weird thought. Everyone that's read this book, all these dates, they'll all be dead now. Mate, you should see the photo in here. That's crazy. 1939. Stolen from the library. That is wild. More music sheets here. St. Bernard's Waltz. Don't know that one. See if I can find that though. That'd be interesting. I'm so lonely tonight. Ironic in this house. And the books look 3D. I'm sure that shilling we've talked about on here before. Wow. This is crazy, the age of the stuff in here. This looks a bit more modern. Yeah, definitely. A birthday card though. Happy birthday to Auntie May Mayony. Best wishes from Wendy and Jane. Mayony, I can't even pronounce her name. What do we have here? Is that some sort of sense and sensibility? I thought it was a diary. But look at this stuff just left. Like the house has been cleared, but to see stuff from 1939 still here is absolutely incredible. That's jammed. I don't want to push it just in case. Got more books. I'm looking for dates on these books because it's absolutely wild that these are just left. All stolen from the library. <laughs> oh, here we go. Derek. 1941 wow peter garner Cab cadet 1941 Whew. this one looks even older let's just check oh my days there is writing in here i can't make it out though that is i can't see a date either is that tw September 25, 1925? September 24th, 1925. And look at the condition, it's an old Bible. Oh, they've actually still got a bookmark. What? This is from 1925 and it's still sat in here. Genesis they were reading. He cast into prison, oh my. And it's still got the bookmark from when they were last reading it. That is insane. That is absolutely wild. Let's just check these drawers out. You can see old fishing wire. Like little bits and bobs. 1954 on there. The gun I was. 1942, age 14. Oh, this is amazing. Just the history in these books. Broken photo frames there. Can't really see them in those drawers. More music sheets. Is that an old wallet? It is. Please tell me there's something in here. No, empty. In these books, mate. The 30s, 40s, and there's a Bible from 1925 with a bookmark still in it, a leaf. There's some really old photo. I've never seen a photo as old as that one. That. I'll check it out now, but you can see like there's an old bed, a cot behind there. What, in that front room? Yeah, just in this one here, yeah, mate. There's so many old like wedding photos and stuff, and then there's one like really old one, you'll see it. Right, okay. Then like an old frame. Yeah. Right. Oh yeah, look, it's absolute, the photos everywhere in here, all thrown all over the floor. You've got two big chests in here. We're a fan of a big chest. 
Check the old photo now. Not as old as some we've seen, but got a date to it. I was seeing if there was any old phone numbers on there. Oh yeah, look at this. This is the one he was talking about. It's so like degraded, de disintegrated. There is writing on there. I'm gonna try and have a look, take it out the frame. The frame is absolutely knackered. But look at that, it's so faded. Just some old deer sat um, next to a vase there. It's gotta be, you're looking, that's gotta be 20s as well. I can't really make out the date at the top here. Can't get it out. Don't really want to damage the picture either. No, can't can't get that out. That is insane. Put that there safe. Old school books. Ah, so these you would have got these out of um, cigarettes. Old footballers here. Yeah, footballers association. W boys. And here we have the old wedding photos, like he was saying, all black and white. Look, having so, such a good time there as well. I wonder if this is the couple that lived here, look. Them two there getting married. She's holding a bouquet and that. Here they are. That'll be the people that lived here. That's who we're gonna try and contact today. Try and get a name. We did see a name earlier, I'll have to go back and look. But it's just incredible, isn't it? Look at these wedding photos. Amazing, isn't it, Matt? Um, I've never seen a photo as old as that little one in the frame, Matt. Yeah. I That's got to be around the 20s as well, mate. Spirit. Got to be. Let's look at the colour of it. Yeah. It's not even black and white, is it? It's like... It's just... No idea. <laughs> it's amazing. It would have been black and white. You reckon it's just faded? Yeah, it's just faded, that. Hmm. I thought it was just a... I'm looking at the dates in these books because it's... Wild, mate. So old, aren't they? Yeah. Anything else in these? <coughs> Oval teen. Ooh, I wouldn't drink out of that. <laughs> Freddy Krueger's claw there. What's this? Incredible. Absolutely incredible. 1963 here. Just behind these photos. Uh, I'm not really sure what that is. Some sort of register. Crazy. Look at the size of this chest as well, an old wooden chest. Some of the Titanic. Oh, nothing in there. But look at all the uh, paperwork, cards and old books just scattered over the floor. Like, we go into some of these places, absolutely everything's left behind. But, you know, it's, it's miscellaneous stuff. And then you come in here and you see these old books of absolute history and the house has been stripped. It's such a shame, but it's incredible to find these old pieces of history in the house. I absolutely love it. Love finding all these old artifacts. Sometimes I wonder like how many like first edition books we've come across and not realized and stuff like that. Like these violin music sheets are from the 1940s, early 1940s, and they're just left in this house. Just decaying away. Let's just have a look, 21st birthday card here, so we might have a name in here, if I can open it eventually. Here we go, to Derek, yeah, there you go, Derek. One of the family members. There is more, but I'm gonna look at some of these off camera because they've got addresses. See if we can find any more of the old photographs. There is, is this a photo album here? No, it's just like an old school book, I think. Yeah, there is a lot of school books in here too. Anything in this chest? No, just lined with the old wallpaper. Loving this retro wallpaper as well. Absolutely amazing. We are gonna push forward. I will come back and look for names, any details but I just don't want to show addresses just in case. I'm um, just going to head into this front room now. Definitely seen better days in here. Another chest, metal, metal chest. Just empty. More music sheets on the floor there. What's this, raw linseed oil. And then just a knife, quite sinisterly. 
left on the side. The books in this place is unreal. Two little rooks, not heard of that one. Probably well before my time. But you can see where vandals have been in, kicked the walls in. They've done it the same here. We are just gonna push forward and see what we find. That door's a bit stuck, floor's a bit knackered in this part, eh? Check this old fireplace. Wood burning stove, I think. Not bad condition inside, just a little bit rusty. But still really good condition. It wouldn't take much to clean this up at all. And it's just left in this abandoned house. Once again, the old wallpaper. Look at this. Camphor... Oh my. Why do they put words like this on? Camphorated oil. Someone's going to have to help me with that. External use only. Bit of jizz on the bottom there, looks like. But that's just left, still corked. There's some sort of little washing line going on here as well. And the chimes. Oh my days, imagine that just going off and you're in here on your own. Photos of Diana and Charles's wedding. It's just crusted shut. Here we go, these are a bit obviously more modern. Uh, look at this. This is from their wedding day, I'm guessing. Amazing. Amazing to find these old things, look at that. Just left here. What do we have? Osram music magnet. So is that just like storage? For an instrument or something? Oh, this. Oh, more wedding photo here. A group photo. Gonna leave that out for our investigation. Coronation. Story told in pictures. I wonder if these are like worth anything now. You know, now she's passed away. Cause look how old they are, Matt. Well, are they old photos? Yeah, from the coronation. Oh yeah, I was just looking at them, yeah. That's crazy, isn't it? Yeah. It's good condition as well. Yeah, look, Churchill as well. I didn't see that one. Book about Churchill from 1965, mate. <laughs> it's in good condition, isn't it, to, to be fair? Amazing condition. Absolutely amazing condition, that. Just a bit of... Uh, a bit of mould. Yeah. Uh, that Princess Diana one, it's like brand new, that inside. It is. It actually is. It's a shame that the house is cleared, isn't it? Oh, yeah. And you can like see the smashed windows and that as well. Yeah, that's all mine, wasn't it? Yeah. No, it is a shame. This is decay. Ceiling's coming down now. Yeah, it's really bad through in the kitchen. Yeah, we'll have a little look in there now. Quite a bit of stuff left in here. Flooded. You can see right out into the outside there. Got these big units in here. Oh, look at the old ashtray. Or is that like a fruit bowl? Fruit bowl, a bit big for an ashtray. But all the books are still left in here as well. Nuts and bolts. Bit of a man drawer, I suppose. A lot of the uh, fishing line. Must be well into his fishing. Matches there. Yeah, definitely is, isn't he? It's like an old tackle box. Eh? It's like an old tackle box there. They were well into the royals. There's another book here as well. Another book on the royals. What were you saying? It looks like an old tackle box up there to keep you like hooks and mine. Yeah, you love a tackle, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> no, these drawers are just uh, empty here. Just quite modern light bulbs. So it just shows that the house has probably been abandoned, what? Probably about 15 years, 20 years. But all the stuff in here is just left for decades, decades ago. Quite a lot of stuff just left on the side here. Looks like she was well into her knitting. The wife. All the washing up still left. Utensils. Yeah, all for knitting. I was gonna say, oh, that's not a toothbrush. Look at that. Massive. But it's just crazy, isn't it, guys? All the windows are boarded up. It is absolutely pitch black when we turn our lights off. So we are going to try and do a bit of a paranormal in the dark, which we haven't really done before, which should be interesting. The old cookery is still, look at this. Once again, like not bad condition at all, considering where it is and oh, 
the decay in this part of the house. There is all just bits and bobs. Look at this writing from 1955. 1959, sorry. Right, I thought, I just thought there was going to be an address on there. The drawers are all empty. There is quite a bit of stuff just look, lying across here. Bits of medicines and stuff like that. A quiet life. Sleeping tablets. Must have been having trouble sleeping, obviously. There's all magazines in here, but it's all decayed now. It's all mouldy and damp. Look at this part of the house, completely ruined. See the drips going past my head now. This is like a utility part. There is some outbuildings outside that we will check out before we go. Apparently there is cars and stuff in there, so we will have a look at that. Fairy up liquid, just trying to work out what that says. Can't, can't really tell. Smashed windows again, such a shame. Back door's boarded, and then is this just, yeah, just a toilet with an absolute massive log in it, so we're not gonna look at that. Vile things. Right guys, so we are just gonna have a little investigation. It is complete vibes in this place. I don't know whether it's because it's dark or aged or retro. Not sure, but I am feeling it. Um, we're gonna have a walk around with the K2, Necrophonic, use some of the new equipment and see what happens. Fingers crossed, we pick something up. Absolutely amazing how some of the history in here, spot on, chef's kiss. Oh, something just dripped down my neck. So guys, let's start our little investigation. Okay guys, me and Matt have both got a K2 each. We're gonna have a little walk around, see if we can get anything on there. Derek, the, one, the, the fella's name is. This is flickering already. Um, the fella's called Derek. I can't remember what the woman's called. Will you have a look while we walk around? Yeah. So then we just have someone to shout out to, don't we? So we'll just have a little walk around with these now. See if we can get anything. If anyone's in this house with me right now, do you wanna reach out, touch the device in my hand, touch my arm, let me know that you're here. If Derek's here, or his wife, anyone that's in the photographs, do you want to uh, reach out and touch the device in my hand? Matt is doing the same thing in the other room here. Here we go, little flicker there in this doorway. Just got it again, or just to green. Probably have to build some energy up, to be fair. Do you want to go to where this uh, portrait is? If there's anyone in this house now, do you want to reach out and touch my hand, touch the device? Let me know that you're here. This lady in the photograph, if you're here. Oh, look, yes. Bit of a flicker there. If this lady in the photograph's here, do you want to reach out and grab my arm? Grab. Did you? Yeah. So Matt's just got a little bit of a flicker at the exact same time. There's no electricity in this house whatsoever. So that's interesting. He's in the other room too, so hopefully we are just building some energy up. Exactly at the same time, mate. Was it? Exactly at the same time. That's interesting, isn't it? It is, uh, and I was next to the photos in there. Yeah. You know, all the little wedding photos. Yeah. Went off in there, yeah. Nice. I'm getting something near this photo here. Stranger, isn't it? Yeah. If the lady in this picture is here, do you want to touch the device in my hand that I'm holding? It'll change the colours and it'll let me know that you're here or anyone else is in the house, would you like to touch it? If you've got a message to pass on. Like I said, Matt is doing the same thing in the other room. Fingers crossed he'll get something and it will match up. So we just got a little bit of a flicker in that other room too. One in the doorway, here we go. If anyone from any of these photographs is in this house with us now, do you want to touch the device in my hand? Hold my hand, grab my arm. Are you getting anything, Matt? Nothing, Matt. Only in this room. You got something in here then? Yeah, next to the photos. Okay. So if anyone from any of these photographs is here, Derek's here, or his wife, the lady from the picture, in the other room. Do you want to touch the device in my hand? Don't mean to do any harm whatsoever, we are just taking a look around, loving the wallpaper. Do you want to let me know that you're here? 
got a message to pass on at all. Be absolutely amazing. So we have got a couple of flickers. Nothing amazing so far. People that do watch the channel know that this K2 has had some great responses before. If there's anyone in this room with me right now, do you want to reach out and grab my arm, grab my hand, let me know that you're here. It would be absolutely fantastic. You know what I'm thinking maybe? Going into the room here with the bag. Oh, I just kicked something. Going into the room with the Bible. Like quite a few personal possessions in here, isn't there? You never know. Right, so we are literally, and it flickered. Did yours flicker then? Yeah, mate. Mine did too. It went all the way to red. Did it? Mine went to like yellow orange. How weird is that? Yeah, the same yeah. time again. And again. Yep, mine flickering as well. That's so strange, mate. Yeah. All the way to red then, and then stop. Did it? Yeah. Mine just went to yellow that. We were in completely different rooms. We're not next to each other, are we? And they're in sync as well. That's crazy, Matt. That is, that is strange, man. <laughs> just, just stay here with me for a sec, see if we get anything. Yeah. If there's anyone in this room, if anyone that owns these possessions are in this house now, do you want to grab one of the devices, grab our hands, arms, just let us know that you're here. <gasps> red. Same, same. Is yours red? It's on or yellow. This is crazy, it's going off at the same time. Yeah, I don't know how to explain that to be honest. They're going off at the same time. And we're not that close. You were in the other room before? Yeah, yeah. That's nuts. So if the person that owns these possessions, do you want to pass on a message? Do you want to grab our hands again? Let us know that you're here. If you want us to leave the house, do you want to let us know by grabbing the device? Or would you like us to stay? You can also touch the device. That's so weird that they went off at the same no. time. It's definitely no electric in it. And that's what I'm just just proving a point that there's no electric in the house. That's some pretty good evidence, aren't we? I think so. Because I was in there. I was in the middle. Man, of the room. going off. On again. They are actually going off at the yeah. same time, guys. What? Am I went all the way to red, then. Yeah. How is that a thing? That's crazy. It's been fairly quiet for now, hasn't it? Explain that though, how two completely separate devices are going off at the same time, I in different know. rooms. I don't know how to explain it, but to be honest. It could be two, two spirits or anything, I don't know. If the lady from this photograph's in the house, you want to grab one of the devices that we're holding? Let us know that you're here. If the person that owns the house is still here, do you want to grab the device? Grab our hands. Wait, that's crazy. I was literally like here. I was around here and you were in the other room, but when both of them went off. I can't explain that, honestly. Yeah, because that, the other week I had these going at the same time and they, they weren't going off at the same time. Nothing, did they go off? This one went off, yeah, yeah, and yeah. one was just normal. Yeah. Well, just dead. But these are going off at the same time, mate. I know. I don't really know how to explain that. Right, let's have a walk through, Matt. Stay with me so we can... Uh... Yeah. Oh, it's going off. Why not this time? It's not. No. Right, it's going off in the toilet. That is a bit mate, weird. I'm with you and it's not, it's not doing anything. Is yours not doing it now? No. Mine's flickering to green. How weird is that then? How weird is that? Still going yours mate, I think. She's with me. Do you want to touch my device as well? Do you want to grab hold of my hand? I think I've just had an orb fly past between us as well. Right in between us. That's so weird how it went off separately then. If the owner of the house is with us, do you want to grab one of the devices that we're holding? Let us know that you're with us still. Definitely some in here, mate. Yeah. 100%. Can feel it. Yeah, it is pretty... Um, it's a mad one. It's such a dark house as well. Yeah. So, it's weird. 
kitchen might be alright, a lot of activity goes on in a kitchen doesn't it? If the couple that lived here are with us in this kitchen now, do you want to grab one of our hands? Let us know that you're here. If you've got a message to pass on or you want us to leave, can you grab one of the devices? Are you getting into them? No. It might just be in the, um, the living rooms and stuff. Oh, oh mine's, gone off now. mine's just gone to red. <laughs> what? Look, wait, exactly at the same time. Mine's going to red as well. I can't explain that. <laughs> How? Amazing, mine's going off again now. Minus a few weeks ago we had a comment saying get two K2s and see if they go off at the same time to try and debunk it. Yeah, but now all it's done is prove it. <laughs> That's so weird. We are all for debunking guys. So if we can we will, won't we? Yeah, yeah. But I can't explain this. Neither yeah, can I. The fact that they're both going off is very um Simultaneously though. Yeah. Simultaneously. Yeah, yeah. How do you say that? Yeah. That's a <laughs> I can't even say that. <laughs> Right, let's just check this last room. Mine just flickered. Mine is. Oh, mate. All the way to red, mate. I'm not at red, no, just green. You're mine, still in there as well. Going off it all mine way. is. We're in different rooms. We are in different rooms, Matt. And they're going off at the same time. Is yours still going? No. Mine stopped now as well. That is so mental. We're in different rooms. Literally, mate. We need to, uh... Should we try the SLS camera? Yes, we love that. Right. Guys, this is crazy. I can't explain this. We're going to go around with the SLS camera now, see if we can pick up any figures. Absolutely love using that. So fingers crossed, once again, we get something. Oh, I just got a on my neck, mate. Further evidence. We need, I think there's something here, mate. Yeah, 100%. Mate. 100. Let's try it. Either, might even be two. That would be honest. amazing. Right guys, there is actually a figure right in front of you. Straight off. Is it not me? I've got you, but there's someone stood in front of you. Where am I? Right in front of you. So I move, does it go? I can't see it now. Could have just been me, innit? All right. Right, we'll start in this living room, see if we can pick anything up. I do, I think it's picking up the curtain there, or actually no. No? It's picking up a, f a full figure on this wall. It's picking up a full figure moving. Moving? Moving. Like having some sort of break dance. <laughs> Actually is, mate. So if the owner of the house is with us, do you want to step in front of the camera that I'm holding? Mate, there's something with you. Come stand here. Come stand in this corner. Right, we've got Matt there. Right, you are... Kill Mate, there's something next to you. Where about this side? Yeah. There's anyone here with me? Do you want to hold my hand? A wave? No, it's not there no. now. It's literally like... I don't know how to explain it. It was at the side of you then, but a minute ago it was stood in front of you. It's like, gone now. It's gone now, mate. But it's picking you up perfect, so yeah. that's so weird. It's weird, isn't it? Yeah. Right, let's just head through. I think it is picking up some of the patterns in these as well. All right, let's head into this room with this, uh, with the woman. We got some activity in here, didn't we, from the... Yeah. from K2's. Mate, it's gone straight to her. That thing's next to you again. It has to be me, surely. Is someone back? No, it's got you, and then yeah. it's got someone in front of you. It's going to her as well, but I'm not sure if that's just because it's a picture. It might just be because it's a picture. Yeah, good one, mate. Picking up her eyes. Imagine if it picks up a whole body though. <laughs> We'd like it. Mate, I got it. <laughs> it's crazy, isn't it? Mate, there's something with you. Is it in front of me? Where yeah, about is it? It's just like hovering around you. 
It could just be me, mate. I don't know. No, it's not. It's separate to you. Is that? If there's anyone stood near me, do you want to put your hand in the air or hold my hand? I think it is holding your hand. It's like a kid, mate. Really? Honest to God. Can you wave? Matt, I'm not even telling you. It's just... There's something with you. (laughs) There's something with you. Right, let's push forward. Let's see what we can get in the rest of the house. But that's crazy. Because I'm not really picking... Oh, that just bleeped. I'm not really picking stuff up from the rest of the house. Right, I'm going to turn around and look at you now and see. Right, we've got you. Nothing with me now. Nothing right this second now. So it's definitely not me then, is it? Because I've not changed from that room to here, have I? Mate, it's weird. It's weird. I'm going to stand against this wall. It's like they're with you. Yeah. Like, move, moving with you as well. If there's anyone here, do you want to come and stand next to me? Show yourself. Maybe touch my arm, hold my hand, wave. Nothing now. So it's definitely not me then, is it? It's not you, mate. It's separate to you. <laughs> it's a separate figure. It gets really dark here now, doesn't it? It's really dark in here. Is there anyone in this house? Do you want to come stand with Matthew or with me? Is it nice I'm not even telling you. I just see it walking with you. <laughs> it's got you perfect. Yeah. Whatever it is, is something else. Is it still that? It's not there right now, no. Your figure's freaking out right now. All right, there you are. It's quite steady now, so. It's pretty creepy, isn't it? It is creepy. <laughs> it is creepy. I don't like there's a big hole above me. No. <laughs> making me feel a bit uneasy. Right, I don't think it's with you now. No. Right, it's picking up some of the utensils on the side there. We can debunk that. What? Don't move, don't move. There is a... F- come back, come back. I need to see, oh my. Do you want me to stand up? Where has that gone? There was a massive figure in that doorway, like bigger than the doorway. No. It was bigger than, shiny light over there. It was right in this doorway, it was Is massive. That like that? No, that wasn't it. That. In here, there's something in here. Let's go in. There was an absolutely massive figure in this room, then. Right, that's the curtain, guys. So, I'm not even gonna, mate. What the f- what was that? That made me jump on my skin, that mate. It just flew. I don't, I'm pretty sure the camera picked it up, mate. Your camera would have picked it up. Then. Did you close that door earlier? No. That was open on mine, mate. It was open on mine because I looked in. Oh, I might have closed it. I might have closed it when I said there's a big turd in there. <laughs> right, we've got you. Yeah, someone on my head. You felt something touch you? Yeah, it's not behind me, I Oh, right, thank God. <laughs> right, I did just see for a split second somebody next to you then. But it like that. Right, you're on your own there. Yeah. It's a child, mate. It's a child. Is it here now? It's kind of, yeah. It's like flashing in and out. But when we were walking into this room, mate, there was a huge figure in the doorway. Huge. Goliath size, mate. What, like taller than the door? Taller than the door. I'm gonna look back and show you it in a sec. Mate, this is so weird. I need to show you this footage. There's something in that doorway. Still? It's taking the focus from you and putting it in the doorway. But a full figure. Massive. 
really strange, right? It is. And there's a child too. So think that it's bigger than the door, like... Mate, it's massive! Does that even make sense? Yeah. I don't know. And we need to... Should we get uh, some more equipment out? Yeah. Let's try different things. Let's try it. Okay guys, so we're about to do an EVP session in the front room where the creepy picture is. We've got the cat balls on the floor there. We've got our new Teddy, the REM pod over there. Let us know a name for her in the comments. The one with the most comments, we will name the bear for future investigations. We've got two K2s going on in the room at the same time. So we're just gonna do a little shout out session, see if we can pick anything up. And uh, hopefully we do, eh? Right guys. So I'm just gonna sit on this chest. If there's anyone in this room with us now, do you wanna speak into this device that I'm holding? Knock one of the devices, grab hold of one of the K2 meters or stand in the doorway? If the owner of the house is with us, can you let us know your name? When you passed away, what age you were? Can you let us know if you passed away inside the house or if you have a message? If there's anyone in this room with us now, do you want to speak into this device that I'm holding? Knock one of the devices, grab hold of one of the K2 meters or stand in the doorway. That was me moving. Yeah. What was that? Can you let us know your name? What was that? When you passed away. I actually have no idea. I don't know if it was that frame. Yeah, but where did it fall from? I don't know. Because you were sat on this, weren't you? Yeah. Lad, what was that? That's weird. Let's do another <laughs> shout out. If that was you that's just knocked over that frame, can you do it again or say something into this device? Can you knock one of the devices for us? Or let us know your name? Can you let us know if you passed away in the house? How old you were? If that was you that's just knocked over that frame, can you do it again or say something into this device? Can you knock one of the devices for us? Or let us know your name? I just did you hear that breathing into yeah. it. It was like a heavy. <sighs> yeah. Can you let us know if you passed away in the house? How old you were? KT's going off. KT's going off on its own over there. Yeah. 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 That's you talking to me there, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. Right. That was when we heard the dripping. Yeah. Right, should we do one more? If that's you that's over to buy the... Did you hear that then? Yeah, man. If that's you that's over by the photograph, setting the K2 off, can you say your yeah. name? Oh my, when I said that. Yeah, straight to the red, man. Can you tell us your name into the device that I'm holding? Mate, this one's just trying to come Mate, Go. they're both going off. Separate sides of the room. They are both going off. If you're here with us, can you set the device off again? Either one of them, the one on the fireplace or the one on the window. Can you knock one of the balls or the teddy in the doorway? You, you can play with the teddy. If you squeeze it, it'll light up and make a sound. It's not going to harm you. Mate, that is so weird how they're going off separately. But Mate, that went straight to red though, didn't it? It did. When I was talking to her, I've just put the EVP away because of how much talking we were doing then. Yeah, yeah. But if the woman in the photograph is in this room with us, can you grab hold of the device next to the picture, please? Can you knock one of the balls on the floor or grab hold of the teddy in the doorway? It's got awfully quiet, man. It has. It's like strange. it just had like a big urge of energy and then just... There. It's going off. K2's going off. Can you touch the other device? Make that one go off as well? 
This is so strange, isn't it? <laughs> Shh. Did you hear that? It's annoying, it's like a rumble. Yeah. Thunder? Maybe. Mate, I thought I'd just seen a light through that hole, man. Go and check it out. What, through there? Yeah, through this hole there. Mate, the K2's going all the way to red. Mate, there's so many noises. All the way to red. Still there? Yeah. We are nowhere near that. Look how far away we are. Can you knock something off the fireplace? Or move one of these balls on the floor here? Mate, this is so weird. It's getting so rough outside though. <laughs> I'm sure that was thunder, man. Yeah, but it's not going to affect the K2. Not obviously now, but like... So it's just strange that there's thunder going off mate, we're in there. Should we do a quick necrophonic? Yeah, definitely. I think we need to, don't we? Yeah. Let's see it's if she's got here, anything mate. to say. If there's anyone in this house, would you like to tell us your name? Hey. Tell us if you passed away in the house. Murdered. Murdered, yeah. Were you killed in this house? Murdered again. Can you let us know that your name? I'll say Esther. Not sure what If you're over by the photograph on the, on the mantelpiece, can you tell us your name? Mate, that K2's going wild over there. Yeah. Can you let us know if you're male or female? Again, it sounded like. Yeah, it does sound like Esther. So you're saying you were killed in the house. Can you tell us when? Why were you killed? So hard to pick it up whilst yeah, we're here, isn't it? That, why can't... K2's just going flat, aren't they? Are you the woman that's in the photograph? Is that you? Is that Esther? If your name's Esther, can you touch the device again for me? Don't. If that's you in the photograph speaking with us now, can you tell me clearly into the device? It's so hard, isn't it, to yeah. listen to it? K2's just going off, man. Can you tell me how old you were when you were killed? What was that? I'm not sure, mate. It sounded like it was behind you. <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> she was. How many spirits are in this house with us right now? How many people? Seven. Sounds like that, didn't it? There's so many voices here. I just said so weird. It was like so weird. Okay, two's going mental. Can you tell us if it was you that was stood near Matt before? Or were you the tall figure that was stood in the doorway? Dead. 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 <laughs> Mate, this is crazy. Can you tell me if it's a positive or negative energy? That was a child. That was. Mate, that's going mad over there by that photo. K2 still going off, guys. If there's a child here with us, do you want to play with the teddy that's on the, in the doorway? If you squeeze it, it'll go off. Do you want to play with the teddy in the doorway? Do you want to knock one of my balls on the floor? Can you tell me the name of the figure that was in the doorway? 
Can you tell me if that was somebody that lived in the house? That was weird. Don't worry about my laptop. Does that fit? Does that figure belong to this house? Skin colour. Skin colour. K two is just going flat out constantly. Esther, if you're still here, can you speak with us? Was it Esther that was killed in the house? No. no. Who was killed in this house? You told us that someone was killed here. Mate, this sound crazy. Right, this sounded like they're getting pretty angry. Do you agree? Yeah. Right. Stop that there then. Oh. Right guys, these uh, whoever we're speaking to sounds like they're getting pretty angry at us being here. The K2 started going off again now, I'm saying that we're going to leave. So guys, we are going to leave it here. I 100% believe this house is a haunted. Yeah. What are you saying? Yeah. Definitely. Everything from the right. K2s, look, I said set one of the devices off. The K2 is still going off, guys. So they definitely don't want us here anymore. K2's amazing response is both going off at the same time, even though we were in separate rooms. The SLS picking up those figures. Not so much on the EVP today, but great responses on the Necrophonic as well. So we are gonna leave this house now. They're both going off. <laughs> they're both going off now. I said we're gonna leave this house. Look at this. Oh, they're both stopped now because they're playing with me. You wanna sleep? <gasps> they're both going off at the same time <laughs> right guys these guys definitely want us out of here so we're going to leave it here um remember to like comment subscribe hit notification for future explores and investigations we are on to the next one have a nice week and we'll see you next time guys let's go